the powers that be want to keep us dumbed down. They control the media. They control the radios. They control the internet. They control all this. They control the information that you and me see on a daily basis. They control what we get told. They control what we can say because go ahead, you try saying something. And if you have noticed, <laughs> you use the wrong language at the wrong time. And the next thing you know, um, it doesn't matter what algorithm you're on. They're going to start shutting you down. Then they're going to start coming after you. They're going to start questioning you. So you really have to be careful on how you do come across. A lot of people don't want to face the fact that their government is screwing them, lying to them, and that they really don't care about the American people anymore. Those values from the Constitution are pretty much gone. All these senators, congressmen, and everything else, you know, they're making millions of dollars when actually really their paychecks are only like a hundred, 150,000, but they go in there for a couple of terms and they come out millionaires. I don't know about you, but, um, the math doesn't add up. So where is all that money coming from? Hmm. Special interest could be, um, and this is the problem in this day and age, everybody buys whatever they want. So you have all these big corporations, you have all these big billionaires, all these millionaires, you have all these people in all these areas and everything else. And they all have an agenda. They all want something different, but in the end, they all want to screw us little people. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. We're the ones that are paying the price. We're the ones that are footing the bills. We're the ones that are paying the most taxes. In case you haven't wondered. And now a lot of these big companies and stuff, you know, well, they're closing all these stores. And, you know, they're all saying that it's because of profit loss at these stores. Oh, and theft. Yes, I've talked about this quite a bit in a lot of my videos lately because I find it very difficult to believe that all these stores that they want to close and that are closing and everything else is because of profit loss and theft. I don't buy it. And if you do, that's good. You're entitled to your own opinion, but I don't buy it. Okay. Something doesn't smell right. A lot of people can say here and you can say, well, you know, I mean, you look at the economy and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I understand that. But a lot of these stores that are closing um, are still doing business and everything else. Why don't they just call it a reconstructing loan type deal? Instead of we're closing, we're just going to be closing these stores. We're still in business. You can order all you want online and we'll just deliver it to your home because we no longer need the employees when we can have the AI robots in the warehouses picking your order and filling it, boxing it, and shipping it directly to you. So why pay employees? If a robot breaks down, what is it, a circuit? All right, so you got somebody in and replaces the circuit, the robot's up and running again. Or you just develop the master AI robot that is like the doctor of the warehouse, and he comes over and fixes the circuit because he'll know exactly which one it is. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, everybody's back to work. And they run 24-7. No time off, no vacation, no medical, no nothing. Where do you think this is going, folks? <laughs> really? There's going to be millions of people in the next 20 years who's going to be out of a job because of AI and robots. Mark my words. Writing's on the wall. All these people that have started designing all these AI tools and robots and everything else, all of a sudden, now they're scared shitless because of what they've created. But they can't stop it. You see, it's like Terminator all over again. And who would have thought that, what, 20, 30 years ago when Terminator came out, that something like that would really come true? 
And here we are. Welcome to the future. Isn't it wonderful? At least they still make beer. And you still can get a good hot dog at a ballpark. Although it's probably going to cost you about 12 bucks. Um, you still can get some good pizza in certain parts of the country. And the Chinese food is great. Mexican food is great. Um, we're losing workers, though. I mean, that's half the problem. If you haven't noticed, a lot of the produce prices have been going up. And that's because all the workers now are scared and they're running away. And they can't hire any Americans to do it because they don't want to do it. It's a, it's a fact, folks. These farmers can't hire any Americans because there's no Americans applying for the job. Here's my solution. All these people are on welfare that need jobs. All these farmers in our country need workers. Well, guess what? Put them to work. Have them go out there and start working in the fields. Have them start picking um, our food and have them harvest and then get the fields ready. Have them helping the farmers, working with the farmers and everything else. They can earn a fair day pay. And they can turn around and they can supply for their family and they're not on our dime anymore. And the farmers are getting something done. Maybe our produce won't be so high. And well, then what are we going to do? We're going to have a barbecue, um, probably without the beef. Um, but I mean, maybe chicken. I don't know. Oh, uh, wait. I'll contact Bill Gates. I have his number. I'll call up Bill Gates and I'll have him. We'll have us a big old huge party and we'll have him deliver some of that lab grown meat of his. And um, we'll all have uh, um, so-called steak dinners and, and that sort of thing. We all get to try it together. How's that? No. <laughs> nope. I don't want anything grown in a lab. Um I don't know about you, but that is just uh, pretty uh, scary in itself. But it is actually really happening, folks. I mean, if you all really want to sit back and you don't believe what's going on, um, uh, what the future holds, I don't even know if you would really want to call it a future at this point in time. Just for the fact of right now, everything looks like a nightmare. And I think we have to start with one particular area and then branch from there. And that area would be we have to get some type of normalcy back and we have to come back together as a country or we get nothing being divided as a country or all these other countries that are laughing at us right now. Somebody is going to take us over and then we're screwed. Mm -hmm.